Hey, 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 what is going on, IK Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder. We are back again today to bring you the latest top 25 alliances in the game for the month of November list, in addition to announcing a impromptu new game-wide alliance ranking feature that Infinity Kingdom just released today some hours ago from what we have found out completely out of left field definitely going to be changing the landscape of the game and we're going to have to wait to see what some of those after effects are going to be i do think overall that it is a net positive but there are some cautions that i think we should all be aware of in the fact that it is something as we will show it here in a moment right that we just hope won't cause any kind of imbalance when you kind of have these public lists that are out like that but we always like to preface as well and this is the most important thing is that always make sure you do your due diligence right even when you hear me do talk about my top list that we come out with always make sure that you interview you ask questions, you try to get a complete understanding right before you consider going to a server, joining an alliance specifically in a server, right? Vet players that are in that server. Don't just talk to the people that are in that alliance, but talk to other, talk to multiple leads, talk to officers, and then talk to regular members as well, right? Try and get a good understanding of the server you're going into, right? In the event especially if you find that some things just may not add up, right? Always good to put on your Sherlock Holmes and Watson's, well, mindsets. Okay, without further ado, let us talk about, one, I'm going to show you the new feature, and then we're going to break down the top 25 list. So this is it. It's this icon right there in the top right corner that you saw me click, and it'll bring you to this page, which is literally a game-wide alliance list and i'm not going to show you the rest of the alliances right there's a, there's more obviously because this we're on the feature tab so it'll show you right if we go down in order right numerical order you can see if i go to the next one right it goes down to the next one and then you can actually look uh alliances up based on the server that they're in now i don't know what these quality ones are if it's something interesting that shows but let's say for example right i'm just going to show you our server in 79 right this information is pretty up to date as well i had just checked it and it was only about four to five hundred thousand off from the number one so there is some of a delay but this is huge i mean you have an opportunity to look at alliances specifically in servers you can see what their power is you can see what the gaps are I mean, it's so much easier now to pull information. What I will say, and this is just my own saltiness, is that it does take a lot of work to put this type of data together, right? Especially if you're doing it manually, which from my understanding, I was the only one in the game that was doing it. But even with that being said, I loved doing it just from my own efforts, right? I loved being able to, to pull data that was highly sought after because people wanted to look at it right because of the time it also took to do it with that being said even though i will not necessarily be able to right have that leg up right because of being able to kind of do that dirty work and have the time to do it i still like the feature overall you can look at any server you want to any of the alliances and if you just want to look at the global list right then you just go back to none and you can do it that way you can filter it by kingdom if you want blue red or green you can filter it by language you can search up alliances individually and then which is the next coolest thing about this they have a new feature this is basically a promotional tab where you would go and click on quick recruit you would click post uh, frequent okay yeah because we we just did this i uh, maybe about 30 minutes ago or so so again there is somewhat of an interval uh, i don't know how long that is yet i'm sure we'll figure it out but essentially what you would do is you would update your declaration board message on your alliance you would click post and then it posts here so this is basically just like a recruitment feed right that they're giving you an opportunity to use in game so i can click on one of these alliances right i can look at some stats i can look at the message i don't know if there's a way to translate that'd be nice if they had a translate button in here unless i'm cray cray yeah there's no translate button that would be cool if there was oh interesting so i can actually take something here and link it oh cool okay uh, uh this is the thing definitely need to add a translate button uh for people that are different languages but again I love the fact that this is something they've added in the game. Hopefully it'll make it easier for 
players that are looking to potentially migrate to servers, right, when they ask you questions like, hey, what's your top five or top ten alliances? An easy way to figure that out. Now, without further ado, let us go ahead and get in to the top 25 alliances. And I'm actually just going to show you this up front, and then we're going to talk about some of the stats. So here we go. Top 25 alliances for November of 20, uh, I should assume 2021, towards the end as we are capping, uh, capturing this data on the 23rd being today. So starting at the bottom, we got WIN, FHU, BRR, right, 46, 40, server 8, AOW from 38, PRTS from 23, AT from 16, Smurfs from 21, Fade from 10, Predator Hunters from 12, ROW from 8, 300 Spartans from 33, AO from server 6, 13 RU from 13, no pun intended, Vex from 38, uh, Phoenix here from 10, BM from 6, AOS from 31, IW 28, MG from server 5, Red from 19, DPS from 8, Ego from 26, BXS from 11, Top from 9, and the number one strongest alliance in the game, a woo, the fam from S16. Okay, so now I want to talk about some interesting data points here. Right, so number one, there are five new alliances on this list, and they are highlighted here in blue, that have pushed out five alliances from the last top 25 alliance power stats that we did back in late October. So we're almost a, exactly a month later from when we're pulling them now. And you can see here, right, the oldest server that had an alliance in the top 25, which I thought was interesting, was server 40 right you have another server right from that is beyond 40 now right with four hope and unicorn still being there in the same position right at number 24 but now you have a server from 46 six servers older in win that has broken into the top 25 so that's that's pretty good i think that's actually a pretty good sign overall now we're going to scroll down i'm going to show you some other stats here so from these stats we have in the top 25 eight are red ten are blue and seven are green. Now, this isn't too much of an imbalance to say that, hey, you know, a lot of these top alliances favor one faction over the other. I actually think this is pretty decent distribution. Then you have four servers that have two or more alliances in the top 25. That's server 16 with two, server six with two, server 38 with two, and then server eight with three alliances in the top 25. Lastly, S40 and S46 oldest servers on the list, like we mentioned, with 46 being the now new oldest. In addition to that, the new bubble position has increased here by almost 5 million from 121.956 to 126.815, right? So that's interesting. So bubble position is now 126.8 mil, where it was 121.9 mil when we did it a month ago. That's showing about a 5 mil increase. In addition to that, for a month, we can look at some of the top alliance increases, right? Now, a Wu and top only had about a 3 million differential, right? Now, a month later, there is almost a, tw what is that, 12, 11.8, almost 12 million differential, right, that they've gone from, along with top increasing their power by about 5.5, a Wu increasing their power by, it looks like, what is that, 13.5 mil? So again, really, really in intense jumps here um, that, that we're seeing. I mean, again, even almost about an 8, 8.2 mil increase here from BXS, right? And you can see here that top three still the same, right? With a Wu top BXS, a Wu top BXS, right? And then you got DPS, same position here at number five. MG maintains same position at number seven. Let me see who else we have that is similar in their same. I think that might have been it for what we saw. App is close. Yeah, those are the only ones there, it looks like, that have maintained. So about, what, four or five alliances that have the same exact position, uh, along with the top three being stable over two. Now, again, Ego really close here 
to BXS. This could be a swap going out. I think Top has put enough of a cushion along with the Wu, even more of a cushion, right, to probably solidify that possibly going into the next month's assessment. But again, really interesting to see some of the stats, how they're developing, how many alliances have uh, multiple within the top 25. Let me know what you guys think about the new feature, especially with what do you think this is going to do for the game? Do you view this as a positive? Do you view this as like a cautionary, you know, possible negative, right? Why do you think that? Along with from the top 25, right, are you surprised that we're seeing some of the older servers now finally making it in with 46 being the new? Are you interested that there's five new alliances along with five other alliances that got pushed out? Let me know anything and everything you guys are thinking in those comments down below. That is it for me. Until next time, we will catch y'all later.